Welcome to the Unai Emery press conference reaction. Before we get into it, there's been a nice little interview with Bubakar Kamara, who's the Villa fans player of the month. Um, and he's just spoke about his time at Aston Villa so far, his partnership with Louise. Um, and yeah, he's just really enjoying being at Villa. He said he's now been rewarded for all of his hard work that he's been putting in on the training ground, um, coming back well from injury, physically and mentally. Uh, he spoke about that he now feels 100%. It's nice to hear from Kamara, because I feel like we all know how good he is on the pitch, but we don't really get to hear much from him. So uh, he did have an interpreter as well. Uh, but yeah, he said he's now feeling 100% uh, and that he hasn't really seen too much of Birmingham. He's been with his wife and kids. Uh, he goes to training, goes home, and he hasn't really seen much of Birmingham. So uh, he, needs, he needs to get out there, don't he? He needs to have a night out in snobs. Um, but, yeah, he's also mentioned his relationship with Louise. He's, he gets on well with him on and off the field. Um, and he's, you know, bigged up Louise, saying he's, he's excellent and he's, he's effortless on the pitch and they've got a really good bond. So... Um, he said he's enjoying working with Unai Emery. Uh, he's brought morale and confidence to the team. Looking forward to Leicester. And he hopes that Villa Park's nice and noisy. Uh, so I'm sure it will be. Uh, we've all been told to bring our scarves, haven't we? So that'll look really good if we all take our scarves, make sure the atmosphere is really good. We can hear the new Unai Emery chant at Villa Park. It's one for everybody to get involved in. Um, so I'm just really looking forward to being back down the Villa, looking forward uh, to watching it. It does feel like it has been a while since we've been down there. Um, and yeah, I've just been missing Villa, missing watching Villa, really. Um, I've been intrigued, like I've been saying about the Everton situation and, and, and watching the Toffee TV and, and seeing what's going on and, and Deutsch. But one thing that Deutsch was talking about, which made me think of Villa at the same time is that he mentioned the fans quite a lot and the impact that fans can have on the players and the fans can have on the football team that can sort of create a real good harmony and a happy environment and and just it, it makes such a difference to the players. So I think that Villa have already started getting on, on with that anyway, but, you know, it, it just feels different at the Villa now. It feels... Like we've, it feels like we're a part of something special, you know. When uh, Unai Emery's Clout and Blue Army just keeps going, it feels like we're all together as one. And I think for me, especially under the Dino days, it, I, I felt like we had like a good vibe there, but it still never felt proper, is what I'm trying to say, with the atmosphere. We're now starting to get that back, I think. I think a little bit. Uh, so it feels like something's bubbling with the atmosphere at the Villa as well. So, But it helps when you keep winning, doesn't it? So if you keep winning, the atmosphere gets better because you're buzzing to go down Villa Park. But yeah, I, I do think the atmosphere is getting better. And, uh, you know, if we all take our scores, get behind Emery, get behind the team, we can we can get them three points, can't we, uh, against Leicester. I, I, I think we can get three points. I, I think we, we're looking good. We're looking strong. Um, and one thing that I've read between the lines of the players and Emery is a sense of responsibility. And I think that is what we're starting to get all over the club. The players have got responsibility. Emery's got one. We've got one. We all have to work together and come together. And I think that's what's so important um, so I think as long as we can do that through good and bad, then we'll be fine. So uh, let's have a little look then at uh, some of the quotes from Unai Emery's press conference. Then, so we've got to address the start, haven't we? We've got to address the main event. Unai Emery on Aston Villa's January transfer window. If we didn't have the possibility to sign a player to improve the team, we were sure that we wouldn't do it. I am so happy because I think uh, I think we have players with big commitment. They are showing us their in their performance. So it just it just goes to what we've been saying, doesn't it? If the right players weren't available, we didn't do the deal, and 
that's just the bottom line. That is the bottom line. So we stick into the policy. We stick into what we need to do and just go with it. So, yes, we do have a new number nine, Villa fans. BT number nine, Bertrand Chayore, uh, is the new number nine. Now, if I'm Duran signing at Villa and I know that number nine's going, I'm having that number nine shirt. But Duran won in 22. I think 22 Duran is his shirt anyway. Um, but I'd have gone for number nine. When I used to play Sunday League, I always went for number nine, I did. Best player on the pitch always takes number nine for me. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so, Emery on Bertrand Troy. All right. I know him. I was following him uh, when he was at Leon, And when he arrived here, he was an important player. His commitment is very good. He pushed to come back here uh, and to help us. So, again, Bertrand Troy. All right. He's a good footballer, a very good footballer, a very technical good footballer on his day. Now, we don't see enough of on his day too often, but he's better at Villa than wherever he was in Turkey. Uh, so I think it's a smart move for memory because... We know what Emery can do. We know how good of a coach he is. We know how good he is in, in playing in a specific system. We know Bertie can just turn a bit of magic. He can do an ice cold finish. He could put someone on their arse in seconds. You know, he's got that bit of magic. But it's about him feeling like I'm going to say feeling a bit of love because I feel like Bertie's one of them where. He's an, he's an ice cold player at times, but he's, he, you know, what Gerard did to him was a bit cold, weren't it? He's just like, no, you're not for me. You haven't got a future at Villa. But, you know, if we go back to Prime Bertie in lockdown that season, he was absolutely quality. And yeah, any player can have a bad season. Any player can go off form and, and be out the side. But I think. For six months, whatever we've got left till the end of the season, it's a good move from, from memory because it stacks out the bench, doesn't it? Uh, he has got qualities. So it's about just seeing him coming off the bench maybe in a week or two's time, helping the team out, doing a role. We've seen that every player in the squad can have an important role at times under memory. So I think it's a um, smart move from memory. It, it helps us out a little bit and then we can go from there. Um, he also mentioned about Troy. I'm sure that uh, he's going to help us playing as a winger because uh, we need a player like him. I am I am sure and so convinced of his quality and how he can help us from now until the end of the season. So Emery's a big fan. Emery's a big fan of Troy, all right. And if Emery's a fan, I'm a fan. <laughs> Uh, so on John Duran, he's training very well. He'll need time, of course, and we have to support him, not give him pressure. He has the possibility to make his debut tomorrow. Oh, the John Duran is coming on. He's having a bullet header and he's going to sink Leicester from the penalty. He's going to bullet header. I'm telling you, bullet, bullet header. Uh, no, I'm, I'm only joking. Um, I'm excited by him, Villa fans. I'm excited because I love a striker coming into any football club. You, you, a striker coming into a club is the best signing you can have. I don't care what anyone says. For me, the best signing is a striker because all my favourite players across the years supporting Villa, they have been attackers. They have been attackers. So, you know, 19 years of age, there is no pressure. The pressure's on Ollie. The pressure's on Watkins because Watkins has got to get the goals. But I think from now until the end of the season, Durant can come off the bench. We can see what he's all about. He can acclimatise himself with the Premier League. And next season, we can sort of say, OK, what do we want from, from John Duran? So I think now it's exciting that we've got a young player coming off the bench. We can fully back him, fully get behind him. Good times are at Villa. The atmosphere is really good. You know, the atmosphere will be brilliant at Leicester. Imagine the roar when John Duran comes on that football pitch tomorrow. 
when he makes his appearance. It's going to be class. It's going to be class. So uh, there's no pressure on him. Nobody's saying you've got to come in and get goals. I think it's just let's see what he's all about and let's really get behind him. Uh, Emery on tomorrow's game. Uh, we're at home. It's a very, very important, and we are 100% focused. I want us to be consistent. I'm very demanding with myself, and I want to connect with the supporters at Villa Park. Just inject it. Inject it to our veins. I just love Emery. I just think he's, he's quality, and, you know, he, I don't ever feel like... There's a, there's a selfish side to Emery. It's not as if it's, what are my goals? What am I trying to do? What am I? Where am I trying to get to after I've been here? I don't get that. And that's what I absolutely love. There's so many times where we get players that come in, we get a uh, manager comes in, whatever. Their, their mind is always elsewhere. It's always on something else. It's always building towards something else. But with Emery, I get that he's won trophies, he's been in European competitions, he's had one of the biggest jobs in world football in PSG, you know. So he's been there and he's done it. All he wants is to connect with the fans and have commitment from his players and be successful at Aston Villa. I think he wants to build a legacy here. He has come back to the Premier League because people have doubted him. And he's coming back to prove them wrong. And he has got everything that he wants here at Villa. And just give him the tools to do his job and he will succeed. And I absolutely love that he loves us. So I think it's so important that we back him. And, you know, the, the, we love him, don't we? The crowd love him already. You know, they're constantly singing his name. So, um, yeah, absolutely fantastic. Absolutely love it. Uh, he's also said uh, tomorrow the match will be very important uh, because it's the first opportunity for us to be in the top 10. And there we go. So tomorrow is the opportunity for Aston Villa to get into the top 10. Another little milestone to tick off. And once we're in there, we can then have another milestone to stay in there and to climb the table as well. So he makes some really good points and... I just think it's absolutely fantastic. So um, a nice little press conference for memory. Uh, he's addressed all the different sorts of um, issues that fans probably wanted to know about the transfer window. Uh, team news. McGinn is back, which is fantastic news. He was looking the best version of McGinn we've seen in years. So uh, he was so unfortunate that we got that injury. And that's what's been annoying as well, that... Whenever we get a big win, it always feels like it's at the detriment to a player getting injured. So, uh, McGinn's back now, so I'm guessing he'll be on the bench. Come on, get some minutes. Uh, he's got an important role to play in this squad, McGinn has, because, you know, when, when games are going difficult and stuff like that, and, you know, we can push Ramsey. So, buzzing to have McGinn back. 13 minutes in, and that's the first time I've said buzzing as well. Um, so we've got Luca Dean's back as well. So he adds competition for Moreno. And Troy Ore is about one or two weeks away. And we've got Carlos, who uh, he's going to be back end of the month, early March as well. So that's fantastic as well. So nice little roundup, Villa fans. I'll see you at Villa Park tomorrow. Fan cams in the usual place. Hit subscribe on this uh, video as well. Drop a like. And add your thoughts. Up the villa.